Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. On this channel, you can find innumerable tricks through which you can excel in competitive exams, especially the quant exams in which uh, you need smart tricks and quick methods to solve all those multiple choice questions. So here is yet another easy trick to divide any number by 13. Yes, Vedic Maths is amazing and if you use some of those methods, you can perform the calculations normally which you take like one and a half to two minutes to solve. Uh, you can do that in 10 to 15 seconds time, thereby increasing your speed 10x. Let me tell you about the best offers which we have on our content. Uh, the ebook of short tricks, that's the most uh, best seller content we have. And along with the reasoning course, both of them come with the video support. That's very important, you know, whenever you get stuck anywhere, you can use the video support and feel comfortable. Then we have lots and lots of stuff for our CBSC students of class 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on various topics of analytical reasoning and uh, logical reasoning, we have brought out uh, comprehensive practice worksheets also. So if you want to have a look at all those stuff, you can visit our app that is Learning Loop app. Download it from the Play Store. The link is given here in the description box below. Or you can send me a message on WhatsApp 9896369963. You can note down the number. Send me a message. I'll send you the details how to get a copy of that ebook of short tricks, the exclusive ebook, uh, not found anywhere on the internet or in the print form that comes with the reasoning course. Two full ebooks with video support, especially for all of you. Let's see the trick in hand now. Now, suppose we have to divide 4 by 13. Now, 4 by 13 is a proper fraction. Now, when you have to uh, find the decimal representation of a proper fraction in which the denominator is 13, let's consider that the numerator 4 is, uh, let's represent it by n. So, n is 4. Now, the first thing you are going to do is to multiply n by 7. Now, this is fixed. Now that's the rule, multiply the numerator by seven. So that gives you four times seven, which is 28. Now after getting 28, you will use 28 and then use another fixed multiplier and that multiplier is 11. Multiply 28 by 11, you can use Vedic Maths there. Eight and then eight plus two is 10. 10 means zero and a one carry. Then add one to this two, you get three zero eight. See, I've used Vedic Maths in multiplication by 11 also. That's how you become smarter. Now, the number which you have obtained, 308, is to be reduced by 1. So, this is also a fixed number. So, you get 307. And now, the amazing thing is, 4 by 13 will be, obviously, it will be 0 point something. And that something will start with this number, 307. After that, you have to just take the ninth complement of 307. You understand ninth complement? 307. You will subtract all the digits of this number from 9. So, what do you get? 9 minus 3 is 6, 9 minus 0 is 9, and 9 minus 7 is 2. This number 692 forms the next three digits of the decimal representation of 4 by 13. And now pick up your calculators and check. 4 divided by 13 will be 0 0.307692 followed by some more digits. But I don't think you require more than 6 digits in any type of calculation. See, even if you have understood like 30 to 40 percent of this, it is perfectly fine because I'm going to give more examples. Let's take another example in which I'm dividing 241 by 13. Now, the first thing is, you should know how to divide numbers horizontally. So 241, I'll write it like this and I have to divide it by 13, right? So 13, one times is 13. 24 minus 13 is 11. So I'll write a 11, small 11 here. That makes this 111. And 111 will give me like 13, eight times. Yeah, 13, eight times is 104. So 111 minus 104 is 7. So, you get a remainder 7. You should know single line division. This is also Vedic Maths. So, 18 is the quotient and 7 is the remainder. 
So I will represent 241 by 13 as 18, that is the quotient, and the proper fraction part, that is 7 remainder and 13 divisor. That is 18, 7 by 13 is the mixed number representation of 241 by 13. I think that's elementary and everybody should know how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number form. Now, 18, 7 upon 13, the answer obviously will be 13 point, sorry, 18 point something, right? Because 18 was the whole number part. So, 18 point something. It's only about 7 upon 13. How do you find the decimal of 7 upon 13? So, let's do the same thing again. The 7, the numerator, is to be multiplied by a constant number that is 7. Now, this is fixed, 7. So, 7, 7 times is 49. What you get, that is 49, will be multiplied by 11 now. How do you do that? The 9 comes as it is. 9 plus 4 is 13. So, 3 and a 1 carry. 1 gets added to 4, you get 5. So, it's 539. And 539 is to be reduced by 1. So, that becomes 538. So, 538 forms the first three digits after the decimal when you have to find the decimal representation of 241 by 13. Now, what is the remaining part? The 9's complement is going to work. 538, right? So, if you take the 9's complement of 538, that is subtract all digits from 9, you get 9 minus 4, 5 is 4, 9 minus 3 is 6, and 9 minus 8 is 1. So, write 461 here and put dot, dot, dot. That means the decimal representation continues. And pick up the calculator again. 18.538461 is the decimal representation of 241 upon 13. Students, maths is amazing. You can keep on, you know, going on and on. Just try 3516 divided by 13. Now, let me tell you that uh, one line uh, division which you can do and convert that to an improper fraction. So, 3516, right? And I have to divide by 13. So, 13 2 times is 26. So, if you subtract 26 from 35, you get 9. So, 9 comes here. 13 7 times is 91. So, 0. Now, 0 comes here and this 6 becomes the remainder. So, actually 3 5 1 6 upon 13 is the quotient 270 and the remainder 6 upon the divisor 13. So, I have converted that to a mixed number very easily. This is yet another takeaway from this video. You can find the, the mixed number representation of an improper fraction so easily using Vedic maths. So, 276 upon 13. Now, try finding the decimal of 6 upon 13 using the method which I have told you just now. Your answer will be 270, that is the whole number part, point whatever you find here. Let me know in the comment box. What is the decimal in place of the question mark there? I am sure you are going to divide any number by 13 after watching this amazing, amazing video.